As 2019 draws to an end, I'd like to look back at all my blog posts. A celebration of cycling in the Netherlands. What better way than to start with Dutch tulips? And the extended cycling family, as introduced by the Cyclist Union, which will include delivery bikes and faster pedal-powered vehicles. The cycleways in the Netherlands, and especially here in Utrecht, got busier again. Which is not so surprising when you see how many improvements have been made. This city is not afraid to take former space for cars and redesign it as a place for people. Where walking and cycling are the main forms of transportation. Maastricht was able to bury a motorway and create a park on top of it. The town of Vught recreated a street. And a horrible intersection has now become a place with priority for cycling. Amsterdam redesigned this street with a new metro line directly underneath it and decided it would no longer be for cars, something that was fought for since the 1970s and 80s. At that time, Delft was experimenting to make the whole city more attractive to cycling. Traces of that project can still be seen today. I showcased a number of beautiful cycle bridges this year. This one is in Rijswijk. This one is close to the city center of Venlo in Limburg. In that same province we find this stylish cycle viaduct in Beek. And this huge one at the border with Germany. The same designers also created this viaduct in North Holland. We find this brand new underpass in the Bild near Utrecht. Some of the cycling infrastructure was exceptional. What about cycling through a museum? Cycling through the trees in Belgium? And cycling through water, also in Belgian Limburg. In Antwerp I showed you a 1930s tunnel just for walking and cycling, which still has the original wooden escalators. Cycling in Dublin was not so relaxed. I noticed that when I visited Ireland for the Velo City Conference. A French TV crew visited Amsterdam and interviewed yours truly besides one of the many canals. Amsterdam opened a new underground parking garage for bicycles in the city center. The parking at Groningen station will be expanded because the current facility is inadequate. Meanwhile, the opening of the final part of the world's largest bicycle parking garage was celebrated in Utrecht. An alternative to parking your own bicycle is renting one. By tapping your card once and pushing just one button, you can get the key to a public transport bicycle. Cycling in the Netherlands is about harmony. And beautifully designed roundabouts to enhance the traffic flow. Traffic can flow freely when you understand the unwritten rules. Also when crossing the cycleways. Cycling for recreation is something the Dutch do a lot. Not only to the beaches around man-made lakes, but also to the heath. You can use the number junction network for recreation, which makes even a longer tour easy to do. I showed you real rides to the hospitals. Here in Sertogenbosch. 
and here in Utrecht. Utrecht improved one of the routes to the university. Something that Groningen still struggles with. This intersection is notorious, but should get an underpass in future. The University of Eindhoven is connected well with a fast cycle route, inaptly named Slow Lane. That Slow Lane can be reached fast from Valkenswaard via this old railway line. Another longer distance ride was this one from Scheveningen to The Hague, for which I used my new 360 camera, so you can have a look around for yourself. I also used it to show you cycling in hills. The year started with a bit of snow, but people keep cycling, such as here near Culemborg. At the other end of the spectrum was the hottest day on record. Again, cycling didn't stop. People also continue to cycle in autumn. In the dark, if necessary. And again in the snow. The Cargo Bike Festival was in Groningen this year. Another unique event was the first ever Dutch Championships on high wheelers in Zaltbommel. And the celebration of 75 years of freedom in Sertogenbosch. What returns every working day is my commute from there to Utrecht. Cycling is very beneficial to the Netherlands. As a society, we work on it every single day of the year. <laughs>